In this chapter, we are going to learn what is the master bot, how we are managing the API keys right now, which are the plans that we have for the future. We're going to connect Binance API keys and check the balance to see that all of this is working. And then we're going to review the scripts that are available there. We can consider them like templates that then we can modify in each specific bot. One question is how we are going to manage the credentials. And as you can see in the image, we're going to use the master bot for that. So the process will be, we're going to create the instance of the master bot, connect the credentials there, then we're going to exit the master bot. And when we want to create a new bot from the dashboard, we're going to use all the connected or encrypted information from the master bot to grant the credential access to the new bots. In the future, we're planning to create bot profiles where each bot profile can have different API keys. So when you are spawning a new bot, you can select which is the template or the profile that you want to start from. It's important to notice that you will need to have Docker up and running because we are using Docker to create and spawn new bots. You have to go to the tab that is credentials and then you will see this card that you will need to press start that will spawn the new bot and then you will need to attach that bot to the terminal, connect your API keys and then close the terminal. That is like the process that we have right now to keep your credentials secure and keep the encrypting mechanism that Hangbot has. The credentials page also has this file explorer where you can check all the scripts that are available, modify them, and you know that these are going to be templates for the new bots that you are going to spawn. As I mentioned, we need to go to this credentials tab and we have this master configs instance is and running, started to add credentials. So we are going to start this bot. This process can take a few seconds because start having bot usually takes, I don't know, five to 10 seconds. And here we have the command that we will need to put into the terminal. So let's go here, copy this go to the terminal and run docker attach hummingbot master conf. So here we are in the master bot right now and we will need to copy uh, or connect with an exchange. In this case, I'm going to use Binance. So I'm going to run connect Binance perpetual. I'm going to run a stretch in Binance perpetual. So let me connect the API keys. Here are API key, API secret, and then we will see that we are connected. And if we fetch the balance, the balance is available here. So well, now let's exit this to close the, to the, the dashboard. And I would like to show you here that you have this file explorer. You can collapse this if you want. You can also use the uh, the other theme uh, once we open this. So here you have a sample, uh, some sample scripts. Some of them are very useful if you want to run in multiple pairs with a strategy v2 framework. All the things that says v2 at the beginning is part of the v2 framework. If you want to learn a little bit more about this, I will recommend you to take BotCamp that we are teaching a lot of this content and I think that is very, very interesting. And well, for example, here, if we want to check this example with Bowling Grid, we can open the editor here. You can see the code, you can edit the code from here, but also you can do it from the code editor. This is in case that you don't have a code editor in the uh, machine that you are deploying the dashboard. You can do it from here or you can do it directly from here. High level files, templates, and here we have the master conf. So either way, it's all right, depending on if you are familiar with an IDE or you prefer to do it from the web app, you can choose the two ways. If you want to say, for example, that you modify this, you are going to add a new pair and you want to add, I don't know, Ethereum USDT, you need to save with Control S or here you will need to press apply. This is like a safety mechanism to don't change files uh, with errors. 
you will need to pr press Control S and then you will need to press here and this will save actually the file.